Good evening and welcome back to Into. We're here uh, on second semester, our first episode of the new year. Happy 2008. We're a little late on that, but uh, don't, hold us against, don't hold it against us. So we're back here in Into It. We have a great show for you tonight. The two producers, directors, and basically everything to do with, with uh, Wes Canalster here. We're going to talk to them very soon. Um, but first, I wanted to welcome you back. I uh, hope your second semester is going all right. And uh, there were some things in the news that I thought we should talk about, and let's get to those now. Cool. All right. First and foremost, Miley Cyrus was in the news this week. Miley Cyrus, she's also known as Hannah Montana. She wasn't feeling so good, uh, and she was singing to a sold-out crowd in New Orleans on Saturday when she announced that uh, she wasn't feeling well, so she left the stage. TMZ, the website TMZ.com, 30 Mile Zone, is reporting it was a stomach ache. Um, you know, it, it was pretty upsetting, but she did go back on stage after the end of the show. Uh, interesting note, Jamie Lynn Spears said the same thing a few months ago, a stomach ache. It turned out a little different, though. Free music download site Q-Tracks was set to premiere today. It was supposed to be the world's first free and legal downloading site with all the fees paid for by the, paid for, uh, with all the record fees paid for by the advertising that they had on the site. But Warner Universal et al. said they had not authorized Q-Tracks. However, Q-Tracks said they were authorized. So to find out about this, because I'm a big music fan, I, I love music and I DJ. Uh, so to find out, I tried to contact the record company and I asked them, why did you pull out? And the person on the phone said, that's what she said. Uh, so I thought that was a little inappropriate for a record company to be telling me that. All right, we're back here on Intuit. Um, it is live. Just remind you of that our graphics aren't working, so I'll just pretend like I, it says it up there. And I'll just pretend there's a graphic. It's a lower third that says, uh, with me is Bob Camisa and Dennis Donovan, both from West Canal. What's going on, guys? Not too much. How you doing? Thanks for having us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Um, so let's talk. What's this movie about? You want to take this? Either one. Uh, all right. Um, it's uh, it's a. Uh, Pretty much a thriller about uh, two brother or two brothers, uh, two best friends who uh, work for an auto repair shop, and uh, one of them uh, is uh, given a decision where he either has to kill his best friend to stay in the business because uh, the auto repair shop works kind of for the mob, and uh, he has to either kill his best friend or uh, they both die. So that's, that's actually a little that's, intense. That's, <laughs> that's a little crazy. Yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. And now you guys, you guys aren't just using like people from from here at Fairfield for the acting. Is you, you guys went down to New York City, right? Or yeah. Yeah. Here? How'd that work out? Uh, you know, it was a, a, quite an experience. We I've never done that before. I think Bob did that once last year. Yeah. Um, but you know, we got to go down there, bring the people working with us, and go through actors and that uh, the whole. The whole experience in general is just you need to know that, so it, it's fun. Yeah, it was, it was really cool just you know go down there and uh, we rented out a space and had you know about 15 actors come in audition for us and we came back and uh, it was you know we had to look at the film the footage and see you know who we liked. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, it's something you know most people don't get to do. Ever, I mean, ever not only in your college experience. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty cool. So let us know about your filming and like your schedule. It sounds like it was pretty hectic based on like. Articles I've read and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, really hectic. Um, you know, it started off. We actually started production in um, the end of November. You know, last week, uh, last weekend in November, um, and it dragged out uh, almost two months because we had, you know, we were supposed to finish before break, but then uh, weather, you know, right. you know, the weather definitely was a ma major factor that you know caused us the delay, and so like. Um, we had to push it back, and we just actually wrapped this past Friday. Oh wow! So, so you guys are done, and so now you have to do like the magic of editing. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Well, we're done until we find out that you know we forgot something, <laughs> and, then, and we're going back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right now we're wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. All right, now Dennis, I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, yeah, hot seat. You ready uh, for it? Oh yeah. All right. What was the moment you knew you wanted to be at, like in the movies, like producing, directing? When was that epiphany? Oh. You know, um, I was <laughs> at some time in high school. I really realized, you know, that I was I wanted to do film. You know, up before that, I was like, oh, I want to be a baseball player or something. But ever since I started making movies with my friends at home, I think that was definitely it. But I have to contribute, you know, to the fact that when I was growing up, I all I did was watch movies, and all I did was, you know, try to be like, you know, the heroes from movies. So I think that's what mainly inspired me. Right. But uh, yeah. What about you, Bob? Oof. You know, um, it really, I, I think, 
I, I started, you know, making films like in seventh grade with a bunch of friends, and you know, we c I, I call them the original crew, and they, uh, we would just go around making like stupid movies, and you know, Scream Four, and like stuff like that, and uh, you know, one by one they started, you know, dropping off, but I just kept it up, and you know, I think it was like my senior year in high school, we had to do a, a year-long project, and I just focused it on film, and I just thought, you know, this is for me, so I'm going to look for colleges for it, and uh, you know. And hopefully I'll make a future in it, with, you know, with it. It's extremely cool. I can't wait till it comes out. Uh, is that going to be like a full, full-length feature movie? How long are we looking at? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice short. Yeah, even yeah. better. Nice short film. And you guys are going to try to premiere it at Cinefest, right? Now, what is Cinefest? Do you want to talk about Cinefest, or? Yeah, sure. Uh, Cinefest. Uh, me and Cine does it every single year. Or uh, how many past? Four years, three years? Four years, I think. Um, where all students, you know, whatever they do, can submit, you know, something that they've done. And uh, they pick a certain amount. I think last year they picked nine films. Nine. I don't know. But I guess last year 31 and nine came out. So, you know, it's competitive. Right. And uh, they air them all to the entire town of Fairfield. Everyone's invited to go to the town theater. And you can watch what everyone's, you know, been working on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they got uh, hors d'oeuvres um, and stuff, and like, you know, uh, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to add my two yeah. cents. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, thanks for being here tonight. Uh, uh, so you guys can stick around. We're just gonna basically hang around here and talk about what's coming up next week. Um, what else we have going on? Oh, as always, there's so much more going on at www.youtube.com/slash/thehamchannel, and. A big promo I gotta talk about um, because I'm kind of involved in it is New 64. They got few selections coming up, and um, I'm gonna be working with that. Few selections are February 26th. That's a Tuesday, and so they're covering those live from the BCC. Thank you, Connor, for that quarter. All Tuesday night, they're gonna be there from like 7 o'clock when it starts until 3 a.m. when it ends. So they'll be live on Channel 64. Um, have you guys ever seen that? What's that? Uh, the news. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I have watched, yeah, I've watched it before. Yeah? Yeah, I'd, have you? Yeah. Uh, I've never seen it that <laughs> I, I've, I've no. been fortunate <laughs> to, to see it. Yeah, so um, check that out. And for more information, you can go onto the website, youtube.com slash the ham channel. If we have a promo ready, I'd like to show that promo now. Otherwise, I'll just see you guys here, same time, same place, next week. Take it easy until then.